Hello my friends, welcome back to the Innovation Lab. So in this video, we're going to start a new series called The Salvage Point. So the main goal of this series will be to encourage uh, the recycling of used electronics or repurposing of used electronics to use them to build something uh, with a different function, something we can uh, um, that can be useful to us. So, in this video, we're going to look at this um, box here to see what's inside it and see what we can salvage. So, um, a while a while ago, I was able to buy this unit. I, I wasn't even sure what it was, but I, but it was so cheap that I couldn't, you know. Uh, refuse it. It was I think it was about ten dollars for this unit and This guy here is a uh, Computer power supply. I believe this one was about fifteen dollars. So this guy here. I was able to um, You can take a peek here and given by the weight you can tell that it has like a massive uh, Transformer on the inside and I knew that someday it will come in handy for something so um, actually what inspired this is this video is the next video that I'm going to make, which will be uh, a, a power inverter, a uh, pure sine wave power inverter, which I'm going to make DIY and kind of show people how to do it as well. So yeah, so let's get into this. And these series are going to be like very quick videos to show, you know, what's inside uh, we're going to exp explore like a, a uh, an electronics that we don't know what in electronics unit that we don't know what's inside it. So we tear it open and see what we can what we can salvage, and uh, you know uh, again as I said, repurpose it for something useful instead of throwing it away and uh, having these units end up in the in the in the uh, um, dumpster where they will not be. Uh, very friendly to the environment. All right, let's get to it. All right, so let's go ahead and open this guy up and see if there's anything of value inside it that can help us towards the new project. Again, this will support our channel philosophy, which is to rethink, uh, rebuild and recycle. All right, let's get to it. So the good thing is, for some reason, um, a lot of the screws that goes on this has already been removed by the time I bought this device. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the one last screw that is here. So with that out of the way, now we have this um, hex knot here. I'm not exactly sure what the size is, so let's find out. Try this. This is 7 16 Nope, oh, that's not the right size. Let's try the this one. This is a half inch. There you go. Again, as um, I always mention, uh, safety, safety, safety. So uh, if you're doing something like this, make sure you pr protect yourself. As you can see, I'm wearing my gloves. So because there's a lot of sharp edges to this, they could uh, cut you or, you know, that would not be good. So yeah, so let's go ahead and open this up. And because I'm salvaging this, so I'm now going to try to save everything. So just to make it easy to uninstall. So before we start, um, as you can see, as I had anticipated, given the time when I saw this, I was able to look through the side. I saw that it had some form of a transformer on the inside. And also by the weight, I could tell that, you know, there's nothing else that could make any of this that heavy, except for an actual transformer. And uh, that kind of, you know, was what caught my eyes there. Um, so, um, taking a step back, I did figure out that this was a kind of a, 
an old UPS uh, computer uh, server UPS drive um, basically converts um, I think the battery power I don't know I'm not exactly sure how many volts it takes but the battery power comes in here and it generates AC output here and uh, it has also an AC plug-in which is what I think uh, automatically recharges the battery when you plug it into any main supply so and if anybody if you guys don't know what a UPS is a UPS stands for uninterruptible power supply basically all it does is it provides power to a computer um, or any any machine that is sensitive to power losses so it's gonna just gonna kick in and supply some power for a few minutes before like can a gener backup generator or something kicks in so I believe that this is what what this guy does so as you can see it looks like we're gonna be able to salvage a lot of things from it so we're gonna go ahead and, and drop remove this transformer and it looks like we're going to be able to get some MOSFETs out of these heat sinks and uh, or yeah so let's let's talk in more action All right, all right, we are back. I had a kind of a glitch with my camera and I lost some of my uh, uh, clips there. So, but what we have done is to, uh, so far, is to uh, unplug some of these speed connectors. I believe this is for the output, AC output. And uh, I'm not sure what, I'm gonna measure this to figure out which one is which. And uh, but one thing for sure is that this is the low voltage AC input to this transformer and we have one of these be the output uh, from the transformer. So uh, yeah, so now let's go. Um, there's a, there is another screw in the back side. So we go ahead and take this one out too. I believe that this one should drop the transformer. over and now there you have it so that's our transformer and uh, given my knowledge about transformers this guy here I mean being uh, the reason why we're kind of moving away from the soft iron core transformers is because they're um, heavy and bulky and that doesn't really re represent a lot of power so this guy I think can do about 500 watts. If you push it, you can maybe get a thousand watts out of it. Um, yeah, but this is pretty cool. Um, this transformer, I am sure that if you were to go look for it on eBay or Amazon, I am sure that you spend close to $50 on this. So yeah, so that's a good uh, value for $10, I guess. So, so there are other components in here and I'm gonna try to see if I can pull them out and then um, we can look at them at the end to see how much value we salvage from this unit. All right, there you have it. So this is kind of a, a, an overview of everything that we got out of this unit. So as you can see going from left to right, this guy is the housing that everything came out of. So we saw this transformer and uh, from my understanding of the cost of transformers, I would say that this guy can easily run, if you, were, if you were to go buy this on eBay or Amazon, somewhere between $40 to $50. And uh, this guy here is the module that has most of the control electronics. And uh, you can see on these heat sinks here, there are like a ton of MOSFETs and uh, maybe some diodes, but I'm pretty sure they're mostly MOSFETs and uh, there is kind of a, a small signal transformer here 
And so me looking at this, everything on it, this connector, I would possibly give this guy another value of about $40 to $50 if you were to kind of, you know, looking at the, just the major components alone. And this guy over here is mostly like the relay module. There's a whole lot of relays on it. Um, so this I can give another maybe um, uh, about $20. So, and also we have the cooling fan that can be repurposed. I believe this is like, a, this is a 12 volt fan. So as you can see there, so this fan, if you were to go buy it, will probably run you about somewhere between uh, 10 to 15 to 20 dollars, depending on the brand or the quality. So, and you have also the fan cover. I right know this I can easily give a value of about five dollars. So, um, and there's this AC kind of nice AC uh, connector here. So, this, who knows, maybe another two, three, four dollars. Then there's a whole lot of screws that came out of this. So, so if you do the math, I mean, the value of ten dollars with all of this stuff that came out of it, parts that came out of it, can easily average up to like 150, 200 dollars, and that's not um, a bad deal at all. All of this could have ended up in the, you know, in the waste dump and polluting the environment, and there would not be, you know basically a waste and we don't want that so if you want to see what i intend to do with the salvage parts from mostly this transformer and some di um, some transistors mosfets from here and possibly the cooling fan subscribe to the innovation lab so you can see our next video and uh, our set of videos on um, what we are going to do with all of this and also if you like to see this kind of concept of you know salvaging parts taking things apart you know, see what's inside them, see what we can repurpose. Subscribe to our channel for that as well, because this is just uh, the beginning. This is just episode one, and there's gonna be many, many more. So uh, subscribe to our channel, and I hope that you found this video interesting and entertaining, and you, you had some fun. All right, my friends, I will see you in the next video.